absolutely had times in my life where I have had people knock on the front door and there was no way in hell I was going to let them in because I either didn't have enough quarters for the laundromat or I didn't have enough money for a washer dryer payment or a washer dryer was broke down. For whatever reason, we had a laundry situation and I would have clothesline stretched all over my house. I mean, I have hooks and stuff, and I would have them stretched and wrapped around poles and from room to room to room, and we would have stuff pinned up, and I would have you know, fans blowing on them. I mean, it was absolutely crazy. The things that you have to sometimes do being a single person or a poor person, what the case may be, children or not, you know, to try to make the budget stretch, and you know, we'd be washing them in that bathtub, and I'd be warning those kids don't you get dirty and get those school clothes off as soon as you can and I mean it was horrible and people would think I would be avoiding them people would think oh well, she's just a recluse or she's weird or whatever well you might have thought I was even more weird if you came in you know you you weren't going to help me out you're going to go tell another neighbor or you're going to tell a friend and then everybody's going to be looking at the cheap poor lady at the red house you know and i don't want all that so i'm not trying to avoid anything i just sometimes have a situation going on where i just don't want to open the door and and expose everybody to it it's embarrassing and, and i don't have the cleanest house in the world but i don't have the dirtiest house in the world i have a house with two teenagers <laughs> and they all have friends or they the two of them have lots of friends and i mean they come in packs and they leave in packs and they take turns in packs. And and we finally had to put my foot up everybody's butt this summer and put out a rule. First, if you're coming, bring something to eat because it is getting too expensive to feed everybody because they come and stay for two and three days. Second of all, when you get ready to head out the door, clean up after yourself. If you've eaten, if you're drinking, if you've smoked, whatever you've done, pick up after yourself as you move out the door because I... I'm tired of cleaning up after 10 people when I gave birth to two. So we have a little better understanding. But anyway, just just crazy, crazy things crossed my mind, and I, I want to share them. And there we are. I saw something pop up on the computer screen, and actually I have to go. I'm not going to lie. That and the fact that I just don't really want to make these things too long because they take forever to load up. I've got ghetto, fabulous computer hardware, right? It means it's it's all rigged up, but it still gets me where I want to go, just like three times longer. So, anyway, hope you're having a great day. Good seeing you.